Hey, welcome back guys. Just wanted to bring you one final update to the 891 issue that I was experiencing. Uh, now I did read through and responded to a lot of the comments that came in either on part one or part two of this series. Uh, and I tried several different things that were recommended. Unfortunately, nothing seemed to resolve the problem. Uh, I did have several uh, people telling me that I should crack the case open and take a look inside. I did not choose to go that route. First of all, I'm not a hardware guy. I'm a software guy. So maybe I could have cracked the case open and seen something simple. You know, maybe the fan had come unplugged from the board and I could just plug that back up. I wasn't certain. The second reason uh, I didn't go that route was the 891 comes with a three-year warranty and I did not want to take a chance on voiding that warranty. So I never did crack the case. I took it over to uh, UPS this morning and shipped it off to Yezu. Now, before I shipped it off, I did call into their customer center or customer service care and uh, you know, got made sure that uh, there was gonna be no issues with it. Uh, I got a extremely friendly uh, gentleman on the phone uh, I didn't catch his name, but uh, the guy was super to work with. He asked me what kind of radio it was. I told him the model number, and he said, yep, go ahead and ship that back. They'll get it straightened out, and then uh, get that back to me. The one catch to it was when I asked about turnaround time. And guys, I'm not making this up. Uh, he told me it was going to be four to five weeks to get the radio back to me. Part of the problem, uh, first of all, I shipped it this morning. This is on a Monday. Uh, it won't get to California until Friday. Then, and this is the part that I'm dead serious about, because of the human malware, when they receive a radio, the radio gets quarantined for five days. Yep, I'm serious. They quarantine the radio for five days before they bring it into the repair facility. So I offered to go get a uh, get the radio a COVID test to try to speed the process. They weren't having it. Uh, it's just the way it is. So no, I'm kidding about the COVID test. But I am dead serious about they quarantine all radios coming into the service center for five days. So it's going to be probably two weeks from today before they even get into it. And then I'm expecting three or four weeks for them to fix it and go ahead and ship that back to me. So probably five or six weeks. So somewhere around the end of September or the 1st of October, hopefully I'll have the rig back in my hands. So I will uh, let you guys know once I get it back, if they tell me what was wrong with it, I'll give you an update uh, on that as well. In the meantime, I'm going back to the 857, the old workhorse. Uh, so that'll be what I'll be using uh, portable for the time being. Actually, I had considered getting rid of that radio, uh, and I own two 857s. So one's in the mobile and one's sitting over uh, on my desk uh, in the shack. And I'd actually considered getting rid of that radio after I bought the 891. Uh, and I decided not to. So for the last, uh, I don't know, seven months, eight months or so, it has been working as a Winlink gateway. So I am going to take the gateway offline. In fact, I've already taken it offline. And uh, I'll be bringing uh, everything on the Raspberry Pi that's connected to the 857 up to speed, uh, getting everything updated so that it will be ready to go once I get back into the field again. So... It'll be uh, probably end of September, 1st of October, before, uh, before I give you guys another update, but I will keep you posted if I hear anything uh, on the radio, uh, repair status of the radio between now and then. All right, guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. We will see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3.